Hello everyone, welcome back. And so today's problem is based on kinematics. Pause the video guys and read the problem statement. Give the problem a good try for five minutes and then check out the solution. Okay guys, so before beginning with the problem, if you guys find these videos helpful, do like and share the video and do subscribe to the channel. It gives me more motivation to bring videos. So with that, let's begin with the problem statement. So an ant runs at a constant speed V along a horizontal surface. Uh, on his way, there is a conical hill the vertical axial section of which has a form of an equilateral triangle with side length L. So basically what they're saying is, so if you see this green line over here, if you chop the cone about that particular plane, then the cross section that you obtain is an equilateral triangle. Okay, now the question is how should an ant move in order to overcome the hill and end up at the opposite point on the base of the hill in minimum time. So let's say the ant starts from this red point over here. The ant wants to reach the red point on the other side of the cone, which from the top view, if this is point number one, then this is point number two. We need to find the minimum time in which the ant can reach that particular point. Now there are multiple possibilities here. So this might be the worst one. The ant goes straight up to the top of the hill and then climb down to the opposite point. There is a, another possibility that the ant can go along the circumference of the base circle. And then there is a possibility something like this. There are multiple possibilities. So just to make the visualization is a bit easier, we are going to represent this cone in 2D. Uh, so basically what we are gonna do is imagine that we run scissors th through this slant line over here, okay? And then we open up this cone on both sides. So essentially after opening it up, the figure that we'll obtain will look something like this. So this is how we represent a cone in 2D. This is also called as the projected lateral surface area of the cone. And this circle over here represents the base of the cone. Okay guys, so I know my slant height is L. Okay guys, so let's say this is the cross section of the cone. It's given that the cross section represents a equilateral triangle where each side length is L. So we can, so we can essentially say the base diameter is simply L. Okay guys, so now let's say we open up the cone just as I explained in the previous page. So we're going to obtain a structure that looks something like this, where this length over here is essentially the circumference of the base circle of the cone. So this is going to be 2 pi r or I can also say it is pi times L. Now the radii of this arc is simply L, right? Because L is the L is also the slant height of the cone. So as you can see, this angle, this comes out to be pi, right? Because radius times angle equals arc length. So this angle actually is pi. So actually the situation looks like something like this. It represents a semicircle. Now guys, let's say, let's say our ant starts over here. Let's say this is our ant. And this guy starts over here at the red point. Let's call this point as point number one. and the guy needs to reach this point over here, which is point number two. Now guys, we cut open this cone about this particular point one, right? So if, if I mark this as point one, then this is also a simply point one. Let's call the vertex of the cone as point O. So this is our point O. This is point one and this is point one. Now point two over here, which is exactly opposite to point one in the base circle is going to be present over here. So now we can clearly see that if the ant starts from here, the shortest distance that the ant has to cover is represented by the line one, two. We know the radii of the circle is simply L. This is 90 degree, which means the distance is root two L. So the min distance comes out to be root two L. So the minimum time taken by the ant comes out to be root two L divided by V. So this would be the answer to the problem. So if you want to, uh, um, you know, visualize it in 3D, the, the ant will cover the distance something like this, where the length of this segment will be root 2L, okay, which is represented by this root 2L. That's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, do hit the like button, and that's it. Thanks for watching.